What's up guys, my name is Selena and today's gonna be a new tutorial showing you guys how to do this watercolor effect and this is inspired by Nainoa Langer. We're gonna be doing this in After Effects, so if you're interested, then keep watching. So we're gonna be doing this in After Effects, but before we go to After Effects, we're gonna need to go to YouTube, actually, and search up some ink blot overlays. So it's really hard to find some good quality ones, but you can go to Isabella Edits and download her overlays. You can keep searching around and try to find some good ones, but it's kind of hard to find some really good quality ones. After you downloaded the overlays, we can go ahead and go to After Effects. Okay, so I have my clip here, so we're just gonna go ahead and bring in that overlay in. So let's drag it in. And then, as you can see, since my uh, watercolor overlay is very small it's not the same settings as my composition we're gonna need to scale this up so I'm gonna scale it up a little bit but I'm actually gonna go to the end because you're gonna want to go to where the splatter is and you're gonna want it to take up mostly the entire screen so I'm scaling it up all the way up to like 800 okay now after you've adjusted the scale we're gonna go to our bottom clip and we're gonna change the matte to luma matte so now you see the watercolor effect on the top and it's blending in to make our clip appear. You can actually still see that ink blot on the side so we're gonna go to where that is and press the keyframe button for scale and then go to the end and then we're gonna scale that all the way up so it's out of the picture. Now let's watch that back. Okay we're gonna need to move the keyframes a lot forward so let's just bring that all the way up where our ink blot is also uh, doing its effect. Okay that's a lot better. And that's it, look at how easy that is. Now if you wanna use it as a transition, I'll show you guys how to do that. So I'm just gonna bring in a new clip here, and then I'm just gonna Command D on my watercolor stain, and then drag that over our clip. And then you're gonna want your clip to be right under our duplicated watercolor stain. That way the mat will work on the correct clip. Okay, and then you're gonna go to your new clip and then you're gonna change the mat to Luma Mat again. Okay, and then now it appears, but you're gonna wanna drag the two layers and bring it over to our first clip so it appears over our first clip. And yeah, if you just wanna keep using that effect, you would Command D to duplicate that watercolor layer and then keep doing it like Nainoa Langer did in his Philippines edit. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this effect. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.